All right, hell yeah, welcome back. So what we have here is we just did little Z, and then we have uh, this uh, upper Collison crit, just a couple wave hits, maybe three. three. Three wave hits, very simple, straightforward wave train. Let's just get into it. So this is little Z, and this is all the way down to lower Collison crit. Now this is also upper French kiss, and then lower French kiss around the corner, that's going to be your geek wave and lower French kiss. All right, but here, here's the emergency spill weight. Now, this is not Collison Crick. Collison Crick uh, is in between upper and uh, lower. Collison Crick comes right in here. But we just got to practice getting into it. You know what I mean? Just what you want. So these two unnamed rapids is what you want. Uh, we have footage of a raft going through two unnamed rapids of the golly. And it just helps piece it together. Hell yeah, you got done with little Z. And uh, yeah, you got two unnamed rapids. Uh, and then you got upper Collison Crick, straightforward wave train. You might miss this, but hell yeah, it's a fun, this is the biggest wave hits on the upper golly sometimes, you know what I mean? Uh, it's not, but, uh, kinda, you know, just for waves, it, it's good wave hits. Um, and, and then you'll definitely see this island down here and this big slanted rock. We'll get into that for another video. We're just gonna do upper Collison Crick, but hell yeah, we got a little, uh, addition. Uh, unnamed rapid number 9 and number 10. These numbers come from that uh, upper golly emergency response map. All right, so here's just a little closer view. Hell yeah, little Z uh, right here. Uh, upper Collison Creek, that's the rapid we're going to get to. Straightforward wave train. Look at that straight little, you got a, you got a tongue and uh, a couple wave hits. And then some unnamed, you know what I mean? Hell yeah. Well, let's look at these two unnamed rapids. All right, so uh, this one's a little smaller. Uh, this one's a little bit longer. You know what I mean? Okay, so that's first glance. All right, so here's the first one we come to. And then we're going to watch a boat go right through this little channel. And then in between these two rocks, hell yeah, they're just going to drop down and ain't no thing but a chicken wing. And uh, here, sure, this is just class twosy, twosy doozy. You, you can do you. Um, you know what I mean? Uh, the, the upper gully is a maze. There's, so, there's a thousand different ways through uh, every rapid, it seems. And then there's kind of where the water flows. So. Hell yeah, this is probably your simplest uh, line right through there. Now, uh, let's watch it, and uh, no commentary. All right, hell yeah. So we're going to watch that one more time with commentary. Okay, and then let's go back. Let's go back. So, okay, so we, we saw these two big boulders. And uh, hell yeah, this is the boulder right there, boulder right there. So I love using topos because you're just like, oh, it makes so much sense. I could have this taped to my paddle and be like, oh, I know exactly where I'm at. And uh, okay, now now we're just going to watch it all the way through with some commentary. So hell yeah. You know, little, little little slot between two boulders. We're just gonna drop. We even we even noticed this little thing from our tow boat that we gotta gotta drop right to left. Who cares? This is just an unnamed rapid, but it's just it's using those markers. So uh, okay, we're gonna go back. And what markers are we using? We're using a, a whole tow boat. Uh, the topography of this river. This is the the Gali. This is the the Appalachia. These rivers never change. Like this is the oldest river system. In the history of river systems, uh, these three little rocks right here will be there for the end of time. Um, anyway, all right. Well, let's get on to the next. Uh, um, all right. So here's the next unnamed rapid, and, and it's, they're just back to back. Now this one, a little different. Hell yeah! You, you have this. You have huge big rock piles on this left side. Oh, but sure. You know, it, you you do you. You can go over there. Sure, that, that's a line. So if I got this topo in front of me, uh, and I want to go over there, I can go. over but if you're just running, is like you might not know what's over there. You know what I mean? Uh, and this footage, the, the the person just turned their camera on, like right here. So we're seeing uh, basically uh, from here down. And yeah, this might be the little channel over there. Does it look like it goes? Probably not. But if you got a topo, hell yeah, it goes. Uh, but anyway, so that that's where we're starting this one. No commentary. Here we go.
So basically, you know what I mean? Yeah, twosie doozy. But downstream, yeah, we can maybe see where uh, Upper Collis and uh, so I'm, you know, the other a aspect. Yeah, we're just watching this walk. You know, whoop de do. But look, look at this mountain right here. Looks like you're definitely gonna go right. You you might think you go left, but uh, probably not. And uh, all right, hell yeah. Let's point this out. You know what I mean? So we have this big mountain, kind of mountain down here, and, and it looks like there's two different directions to go. This happens all the time. So we're gonna. Look at this. This is above soap, uh, cr soap rapid on the Grand Canyon. So it's mile uh, here, here, mile eleven point three downstream view, looking towards Soap Creek Canyon. Now even me, I have to be like, oh, do we go right? Does the Colorado River go right? No, no. Soap Creek comes in on the right. So it's just so interesting that a drainage can and can look like a like a bigger, you know, looks like you go right here. But no, Soap Creek drainage comes in on the right, and the Colorado River continues down the left. Okay, so here's what's happening. You know, you have a, a tributary of the Gali. Now, these probably have just like, you know, you can't kayak in uh, to the Gali on Collison Creek. Or maybe you can, but probably not. You know what I mean? Uh, it's not a, it's not like the Meadow River. You know what I mean? It's a very small little watershed. There's hardly any watersheds that come into the upper Gali. But this is one, and it's big enough historically that it actually creates a decent size uh, uh you know, so th that's what you're looking at. You're looking at this mountain, and let's go back. So the mountain you're looking at is the mountain, like, right here. Uh, uh, and then you're seeing the golly go to the right, and you're seeing this Collison Creek enter from the left. So even even if you get down here to past Collison Creek, so uh, Collison Creek is uh, in between Upper Collison Rapid and uh, Lower Collison, or Upper French Kiss. But even, I don't know, you might just, it's the Appalachia, you know what I mean? It's all just forest. By the time you get down here, this distinct mountain doesn't look the same at all. You know what I mean? So you might just miss Collison Creek coming in altogether. But here, it's, it's just a cool example of like from a distance. And where are we? We're, we're basically, this is that unnamed rapid number 10. All right. So here's an over overview. So I put this unnamed rapid right there. So here's little Z. Here's your first, second unnamed rapid. Here's unnamed rapid number 10. Here's other Collison Creek. So you're looking a direct shot at, at this little mountain right here and what you're seeing is this drainage come in and then the i mean this is such a slight bend but it's so interesting from this distance way back you actually see a mountain and it looks like you got kind of two different directions to go so uh yeah it's pretty cool and then again uh uh this is where the spillway enters this is uh summersville dam and uh, but i just wanted to point that out all right let's just get back to uh just kind of the normal footage so so anyway uh, so I'm always uh, looking out for stuff like that. Okay, so now we're actually going to do Upper Collison Creek. And uh, this is what we came to see. Hell yeah. And a straightforward tongue, uh, kind of center right, down the kind of this right side. But hell yeah, you got like a wave hit there, wave hit there. And then kind of one down on the right if you hit it. You know, you'll, you'll definitely, I don't know exactly which... You know which one of these is the hits uh but maybe we can walk H hell yeah there's the hit that's the hit uh great wave hits and uh oh sweet we, we got some ace footage so yeah re really distinct you know wave train so i bet you the waves oh right there that, that that's that great wave hit hell yeah see just right there uh so that there's one great wave hit and then that might be it you know we I mean, just go for that but i bet you there's another one and then uh, there is there's three because all these waves you can surf them in a kayak so go go for it you know what i mean do it up um all right so no commentary we're going to watch the upper collison creek All right, so I did not see three waves in there, but we definitely saw that one. Heck yeah, that's that great wave fit. So, Upper Carlson Creek, just know there's one great wave, big V just leading right to it. You, you can't miss it. And that, now we're just going to watch this with some commentary. So anyway, what I do see is uh, the rock down on the bottom, that's Lower Carlson Creek. All right, big wave hit right here. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's not the first one, it's that second one. Uh, kapow. 
And then there's probably like one here, and then there's, you know, for the kayak surfing, I don't see it. All right, so downstream, hell yeah, there's your island right there. There's your island. And then there's your slanted, uh, you know, triangle undercut. So you go left of the island, but don't go up against the undercut. That's real easy. Okay, heck yeah, we're going to see uh, one more. And as you can see, there you go. This is Upper Collison Creek. There's your weight fit, your nice V. Uh, you do have one rock in the river, holy Toledo. And we can go back and actually see where that rock is. Whoa, okay, so there is one rock over here. This is like the only rock. There's a couple little, little marker rocks going into Upper Collison Creek. Good to know. Um, so, yeah, there you go. And then uh, downstream, you see the island. You see this uh, slanted undercut. That's going to be Lower Collison Creek, also known as Upper French Kiss. Rapid. All right, we're going to watch this. No commentary. You know what I mean? The fact that we looked at the topo, the fact that we put all the pieces together, like where are we? And the fact that up over this little wave, just up over that one, is just crush and hit? Heck yeah. Now you know. You know, you put all the pieces together. We, we, we. You know, from the eighth video, there's like, oh, yeah, there's like three big waves. But honestly, uh, there's just one really good one. And it's uh, just up over a uh, top wave. You know what I mean? And then you crush down into it. All right, before we go, we're going to take a look at this one more time. Because we're going to watch the ace footage. I'm, I'm just going to leave you with that. Because it's so interesting making these videos from kind of the knowledge that I have. And I even watched the ace video. They were talking about three waves. And it's just like, no, uh, there's two waves. You basically have this first one. And then you drop into a more crushing wave. So those are the first two. And then over here, you have a third wave. So if you do hit these, you would have to actually kind of paddle over to the right side of the river and then hit those. Now, the the uh, if you watch the A's video, if you come into this V, uh, uh, this V will take you just to, let's say, the right of this wave. Or even if you come in here on this right side, you might just go through this and then you're just going to be paddling down the right side of the river. So there is a mention of, uh, you know, identifying this tongue and then actually getting over here on the left. And then the other feature of this topo is there is a rock here. This rock creates a pretty decent eddy. It is a long eddy. And you can have uh, eddy service uh, for this kayak uh, for any for any of these one or two waves. This first one's glassy. The second one definitely packs a punch. It's got a, it's got a breaking wave to it. So a uh, nice little pillow. So, uh, you know, I could even try to surf it in my raft. You know, but I ain't, in my R1, I ain't catching the steady hell no. But in a kayak, for sure, just to, so, so there you go. So the, you know, even, even like uh, the information that I gave you, hell is pretty good. We looked at some footage and uh, whatever. But then looking at the ACE uh, footage, it was just interesting how I was just kind of confused with like the three way, you know, those, those, their videos are so good and concise, but, uh, you know, I like to take the slower look, uh, you know what I mean? And kind of put all the pieces of the puzzle together. All right, so we're just going to finish with uh, that ace footage. Here we go, and uh, and th that'll do it. So uh, ha have a have a great day, and uh, and that'll be a video. Folks, we're down here at beautiful Upper Collison Creek Rapid here. Great little class three wave train. You're going to start right on down the middle. Most folks like to work their way over to the left side because there's two great waves here you can punch through on the left and work your way over right of center. There's one more waiting for you over there. So you've got a, a rock here, nice little kayak booth to get yourself in this eddy if you like. Catch this eddy, you keep coming back up in here, surfing these couple waves. More rafters working their way in here. These guys looking good, lining up for some great hits. Let's see how they do. There's one and two. There they go, they're gonna work their way on down, get themselves one more down there on the right. Beautiful lines here in Upper Collison Creek Rapids. These folks going to keep working their way downstream. Got Upper French Kiss Rapid working down there. We got that undercut on the left. Watch out for that thing. And a beautiful morning down here on the Upper Dolly.